Papayo! She making that in 2020? If you love food, then you're in the right place because this is How To Foodie Nation. Today, Chef Jason will be teaching us how to make dal. So let's get cooking. Kenzie, you ready to make dal? I'm ready. Very simple, you know. I heard. I mean, people think it's difficult and pretty much it's just put up everything to boil and just swizzle it when you finish. And it's so good, man. It's so good. But people, people do understand that this is the stuff that make you bright and intelligent, you know. Mm -hmm. It's such a versatile piece. Like, you could have split piece how? In dal pre, duh. In soup, in dal like we're about to do. Even any bottles, any grocery. Or you know, spies. you get the fries one. Spies. There you go. All split peas, we, also yummy. We use this to make kitri also, which yes. is a split pea rice. We get very creative with it also, and we can make like a split pea acras with it. Mm -hmm. Like fritters. There you go, fritters. Mm -hmm. So I mean, base for soups, you name it. And you know, split peas are rich in protein, as you would know. Yeah, I've seen a little green man in there. Well, there are many different types. There okay. are, they are black ones, they mm -hmm. have green. They and they have, have yellow. yellow. The yellow in this case. So you, if you find a little green one, nothing is wrong with it. It's fine. It, it's all good. And Spies is something that helps make the world go wrong. It's cheap. <laughs> Do not buy it in tins. Buy it fresh. So what we did here is, and I had uh, my split peas. They were dry. Mm -hmm. They were pulse, mm -hmm. as you know, for all under that food group. And uh, I soaked them over at night in water. Okay. Some people don't do that. You could cook it just as straightforward. Just put it in the water and boil mm -hmm. it. I find that when I soak it overnight in water, this is what happens to it. It gets soft. So it reduces your cooking time. By 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, it, it, it's not a necessity, but no, I like it. It's put it to soak when you're going in your bed. Wake up, cook it the next day. There you go. So, medium to high heat. Pot Water. on the stove. Okay. Yes, my pot was hot. Put that inside there. You want to put those split peas that Absolutely. are pre-soaked inside there already. Absolutely. So dal has people been asking for dal on the comment section for a mm -hmm. good while. So we're really happy to bring it to you guys. Keep on commenting. Let us know what you want us to make. Because we listen in. We get there in time. We can't handle all in one week, but mm -hmm. we will get there over the course of the years. So stick with us, guys. We are listening. So you have that inside there? No. Yep. We That's need not. to flavor it up, Kezi. You go through now. I'm not trying to miss any of these. Turmeric, what we locally call a saffron. Yes. It's really turmeric. Turmeric is the proper name for it. Gives the split peas that yellow, Famous color. Mm -hmm, that right. rich color. So it goes inside there. Mm -hmm. A little bit goes a long way. We have cumin powder, or known as jira powder. Jira. The seeds. From the seeds ground. Grounded. We are mm -hmm. going to be using the seeds later on, but this is the powdered version. Okay. And this helps to create an earthy underlying effect in the dal itself. It mm -hmm. cooks into the split peas itself. Okay. So we get a great flavor. And here in Trinidad and Tobago, we like to ensure that our Split pea dal is well flavored with mm -hmm. our local vibe. We're talking about minced garlic, minced onions, and minced pimentos. pimentos. Other people use different aromatics inside there. I find this adds great, bountiful flavor. These are foodie nation favorites. Yeah, of course, we can't just leave it out. So, Kezi, you've yes. now stirred everything in together mm -hmm. like that. We need mm -hmm. to add a little bit of salt. Okay. So, as it cooks now, what we're going to do is, ladies and gents, bring this up to a boil. Right. Once it comes to a boil, reduce it to a simmer. Okay. Once it goes to a simmer, cook it for 30 to 35 minutes on that low temperature. Take so the we're cover, covering it? Put the cover on. But, but you, you're going not to, fully closed. Not fully closed because mm -hmm. it is going to boil up on you. Yes. You don't want any problems. So leave it like Bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, simmer it 30 to 35 minutes. And then we're going to check back on it. Alrighty. Check the doll. Have a dal belly? Do you? No, nah, I don't have a dal belly. <laughs> Just checking to see if you guys, you know, paying attention. Guess what went on there? So I feel like it's breaking down very nicely. Okay, so the split peas are starting to burst and yeah. coming down into fragments. That's a good mm -hmm. indication. You could see that the water has reduced by half. Yes, so which means does, we boil and down. It cooks, right? So basically, we, we're in a good gear right now. Right. So, you know what you just call this? My question is, where are you going with this? Listen, it's a swizzle stick, also known as a dal gutni. People out there, you all can spell dal gutni. That's a Hindi term for swizzle stick. You really gonna swizzle this whole thing? Listen, day? this is how you just do it. This is how tan tea just do it. You make a good swizzle, uh -huh. and you mash up them split peas. This uh -huh. is the traditional way to do it. Uh -huh. And you get that inside there, and you start to break it down. Right. A little bit of elbow, elbow grease. You paying attention? Or... Not in this 2020, my friend. 
I don't know who you thought was gonna swizzle this whole thing, but it's not me. I come here with my piece of wood, hopefully. You know, L- swizzle, let me help. Swizzle in and nope. swizzle out. Nope. And you okay. come with what is this? <clears throat> this is a modern tool that's gonna help us so that we don't have to go through all that stress. Can sure. I? Show me. Papa yo! She making that in 2020? She's using a hand blender. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My mother does this also. Yeah. She's a Jason. Why could you uh, yeah. stand up there for a whole yeah, half an hour once? Whole half an hour breaking your shoulder on your back at all. So what are you doing? You're just using the hand blender and you're yes. breaking it down into yes. smaller pieces and fragments. Mm-hmm. It's a nice smooth consistency. If you want your doll a little chunky, don't go all the way. Leave a little chunk inside here. Yeah? How you like it, doll? I mean, I like it in between, you know, because uh, I like to taste a little bit of that bite. Miguel but I also like it's a little smooth. I think you're looking good there. I think so too. Look at that. And look how quickly, man. Look you see this dial And has, you want it to swizzle. This dial has a little bit of texture inside of it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I think mm-hmm. I like it like this so I could feel it. So if do you I. Want, cook it down a little more. Yes. Blend it a little more. So, what I'm going to do inside here, Kezi? Mm hmm. I have a little bit of tamarind chutney. Tamarind? I like a little bit of tart inside it. It okay. really does bring in a little bit of the chatak flavor inside it. <laughs> chatak matak. The chatak flavor. Right, so you get a little bit of the tartiness, so I'm gonna add that inside there. So this is just your preference? My preference. Of course, optional. I always use tamarind in my curries also. Mm-hmm. That's true, I remember that we do. It brings in a whole other flavor profile. You get that little bit of this little tartiness in the back, that sourness. Yes. That really does call your... It makes you satiate and salivate mm-hmm. a little more, right? That'll extra kick. So what we're going to do here is let us go for about five minutes on a low temperature. Are we covering again? No, we can leave it open. Okay. All right. And then we're going to come back and we're going to chunk it. Okay. Chunk it, you say? Let me show you how to do it. Mm-hmm. All right. You ready to chunk it, right? Yeah, I feel it's time. I put feel a, it's time. Put it out to the side. Okay. Now, now do it on this side. Put it on that side. Thank now we're using you. a saute pan here. Yes. Usually when you're doing a good chunky, mm-hmm. or you're chunking anything, you would use your ladle. Yeah, on the stove top. On the stove top, then you have not, a fire top. Not on this surface. Yes, call this a cultural also. Mm-hmm. It's a Hindi too. Yes. We don't have any raw fire here right nope. now. And we know a lot of people don't have that in their home, especially in apartments and complexes. Yeah. So, apart from just putting the oil inside here, we're going to be doing another modern approach because Kezi in charge. And only because we're not on a fire top. So, heat on. Hi. Hi. Mm-hmm. What we're going to do now is take our oil, mm-hmm. any neutral oil, vegetable oil, Yes. put it inside here. Now, the word chonke comes from the word to chonk, mm-hmm. which basically means to infuse okay. anything in hot fat. Yeah. So whether it be butter, oil, or whatnot like that. So today we are going to be using certain aromatics such as minced garlic. Garlic. Mm-hmm. We have jira seeds or cumin seeds, cumin seeds. inside there. And of course... We have a carapule, curry leaf. Now I've dried these. I usually pick them from the, the tree mm-hmm. and I dry them. I get a more intense flavor, flavor from okay. them. All right. So mm-hmm. first and foremost, let's go in. Is it nice and hot? Yeah, man. Let's go in. We're going to put in our seeds. And time. immediately it starts to sizzle. It's popping. The flavor of the cumin seeds, aka jira seeds, yeah. are starting to bring in that earthy profile that you spoke about earlier on. Yes. We did use the powder in it, yes? Of course we did. So it's like double packs of flavor. <laughs> All right. Carapule leaves, also known as the curry leaves. Mm-hmm. She went inside there. Oh, oh, we're going on with oil. Things pop in. Pop. Things pop in. <laughs> I tell you. That's what we're talking about. So those are also going to bring in a more of a herbaceous, herbaceous feel into the dal. Okay. That's important. Now, when you get dal, you get those little specks of brown inside there. Yes. And that really shows off like character of dal. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going in with minced garlic. I put this at the end because I just want to get the flavor of the garlic coming through. And I don't want it to burn and become yeah. bitter. We don't want to lose it in the middle of things. We don't want to lose it. All right. So you want to let that go for about a minute, a minute and a half. But watch closely because your garlic will burn. So who tell you you can't chunk your pot <laughs> if you don't have a... If you don't have a ladle, ladle and a fire top. You know, we're showing you here on how to, the little tips and tricks on how you can get good dollar to home even if you don't have a fire side or you don't have a stove top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have induction make it work. How are we looking there? Good we're nice? looking close to good. Yeah, I think, I think we, we did. Go for about 20 seconds again. Mm-hmm. Right? So important that you add this hot oil to the dal. the dal but another important point is make sure that you have your guard that is your cover yes. so when you put it in it doesn't splash back you ready mm-hmm. to do it yeah pour it in so switch go ahead 
me up here. May I? There you go. Protect myself. Protect yourself. <laughs> she chunking <laughs> down. <laughs> Hear that track. <laughs> and I want to get all my seeds and everything back in there as well. You did a great job, Cassie. Thank you, thank Smells you. Smells good. This really does add that extra flavor and impregnation of that spice and flair into the yes. dal and makes it a really trendy onion dal. That's what it is about. Now, as you can see, ladies and gents, what's going on here? Mm -hmm, I'm going to go mm -hmm, down now. Mm -hmm. You can see the specks of the jira seeds inside there, the yes. garlic. Pretty much at this point in time, it's ready, you know. That's it. What I could say is probably, let's add a little touch of salt. And of course, with dal, you do it to you, the consistency to your preference, right? Exactly. If you like it thick, you like it thin. If you like it thin, you yep. add a little water. Add a thin up, add a little mm -hmm. water, as Kezi mentioned. If you like it thick, you let it reduce. Exactly. I'm happy Simple. with this. Me too. Let's serve it up. Okay. This smells like childhood. This well, doesn't smell like childhood that, to you? That is, you know, that's some good... I, well, my family from Grandy. So mm. when I smell things like this, I remember some good country life. Yeah, it smells like dal and rice on like, well, a Saturday evening with fried fish. That's a granny special, dal of course. rice and smoke herring. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. But excellent. I don't want to say anything else. I just want to taste. Well, let's dig in. Well, you know that when you see you're having dal, yes. because of the protein, it does foam up a little bit. So you just like with up. any pea or bean. Nice, nice grain. I love, I love mm -hmm. how you blended it. Mm. It's so... Jira, 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 Jira. That Jira is coming through. And that little tang from the tamarind. I think it's so important to have the jiro, the cumin inside there. Yes. It really does bring in or usher in that Indian profile. Yeah, and that earthy taste that you were talking about before. Dal is eaten all across the Caribbean and all around the world. All it's around the like world. It's like an international soup. Of course. Goes well with rice. Mm -hmm. I particularly like my dal with like basmin, bas basmati or jasmine mm -hmm. rice. Mm -hmm. And I mean, at the end of the day, Kezi, teach a girl how to make dal. Yeah. She gets a husband for life. <laughs> Surely. And then, I mean... <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't know if anybody out there has won over a husband with dal, but if you had, tell us below. Actually, tell us about your memories of dal. If it was growing up, if it was fine and a husband, anything at all, we love hearing from you guys. I guess we want to hear from you, darlings. Mosquitoes, oh my gosh. All right, guys, you know, once <laughs> Chef gives his joke, that means we need to go. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love you so much, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Okay.